November is a hopping month in Hollywood. The animes are happening, and we went to the streets for details. Movie Madness. Check out some of the latest releases and what people are excited to check out. TV's definitely getting more cutthroat. Find out the latest on cancellations and what you expect to see coming up. And celebrity gossip? Yeah, we got that too. It's time for the November wrap-up here with the Hollywood Bunch. Welcome to the Hollywood Bunch, where we get all the latest info on all things Hollywood. I'm Catherine Chung. And I'm Nick Lucier. You look excited, Catherine. I am. Coming up this Sunday is the 40th American Music Awards. Millions will watch as some of the hottest music acts in the world will take stage and receive some of, high, some of music's highest honor. Our own Khadija Nanakasi and Shanice Cole will have more in the AMAs later on in the show. That's great, but I'm more interested in what's on TV. Tell me what's going on. Well, Nick... Sad news for the ABC Network show 666 Park Avenue in Last Resort. ABC will not be picking up the shows for full seasons. Similarly, on CBS, the network has canceled the sitcom Partners. CBS, however, has picked up the new drama Elementary for a full season with 24 episodes. The Discovery Channel is saying goodbye to an all-favorite. The hit reality show your dad most likely watches, American Choppers, is ending after 10 years. The show revolves around the father and son team of the Tetuals and their constant infighting at their motorcycle garage. While one show ends this run, another will show. Another show will begin theirs. The Discovery Channel is airing on December 12th, their new show, Amish Mafia. The show will take a look at the ins inside the hush hush behind closed doors law enforcement within the Amish community in Lancaster, PA. And let's just say it may not be legal. Last Saturday night, actor Jeremy Renner hosted Saturday Night Live for the first time with musical guest Maroon 5. Skits included jabs at General Petraeus and his alleged affair and the reoccurring skit The Californians. Renner, in particular, is having a fantastic year starring in movies like The Avengers and The Bourne Legacy. Maroon 5 is celebrating their hit single, One More Night, topping the charts for its ninth consecutive week. Wow. Lee singer Adam Levine also made a special appearance in the digital short, The Standoff, and it was funny. This, and speaking of Saturday Night Live, have you ever wondered how the show is created? Have you ever wondered how any show is created? Well, The Hollywood Bunch is here for, to answer those questions. Sorry, can't take you to an actual network lot, but we'll give you something even better. And our own Nick Lucier will give you the exclusive scoop. That's right. I had the opportunity to go behind the scenes of Temple's wackiest sketch comedy. Check this out. Everything that goes into the production is done by students and it's the only sketch show like that I think in the country. There's so many different opportunities to get your foot in the door at Smash, whether it's stage, crew, art department, anything like that. If you want to end up in the control room here, you can ask for it and we'll find a spot for you. Wow, if I didn't know any better, those guys look like they're headed to 30 Rock. They, they absolutely are. Now let's move on to something on everybody's mind. Who's sleeping with you, who? Why is Jay Biebs in hot water? And what's that darn Octomom up to? Our own Khadija Nanakasi is about to fill you in. Thank you, Nick and Catherine. I'm Khadija Nanakasi, and this is the Hollywood Bunch Gossip Edition. I have a lot to fill you guys in on today. Let's start with Mr. Bieber. Last night, Justin Bieber was pulled over for joyriding in his Ferrari. Sources tell us he was pulled over for making an unsafe, unsafe left turn and his registration was expired. Come on, Bieber. We need to do better. Maybe that's why Selena Gomez dumped you in the first place. 
Now you guys remember Nadia Soman, aka Octo Mom. While she's being accused of stealing a diamond ring from celebrity boxing promoter Damon Fellman, who staged a fake proposal with Nadia strictly for publicity. But Fellman plans to file a civil suit against Miss Octo Mom. Jersey Shore is coming to an end, which is good news to some. Vinny, one of the cast members, will have his own spinoff called The Show with Vinny. The show will take place in his home in Staten Island with his family. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Robert Patterson, Brad Pitt, watch out. There's a new hottie in the building. According to People's Magazine, Channing Tatum is the sexiest man alive. I don't think I can argue that. To get more info on the issue, it comes out this Friday to find out about the new crown hottie. If you guys haven't heard, Heidi Klum recently came out about her relationship with her bodyguard, Juicy Wright, while that didn't sit well with gossip queen Wendy Williams. You may ask, what's her business, right? Who knows? But Wendy went off on her show, suggesting that Heidi was having relations with bodyguard while her and Syl were still together. Sounds like a story for another day. If you didn't know, the AMAs is coming up this Sunday, and rumor has it, award show will be going Gagaman style. Korean artist Psy is being honored at 2012's new media honoree for being a huge cyber success, and he's also to perform his new hit single, which is the second most viewed YouTube video after Justin Bieber's Baby. Thank you. I'm Khadija Nanakasi, and this is the Hollywood Bunch Gossip Edition. Tune in next time to find out why Rihanna is getting naked for so many magazine covers. Back to you, Catherine and Nick. Thanks, Khadija. I'm definitely checking out that Rihanna story. You heard what Khadija thought about the AMAs. Now let's go to the streets with our own reporter, Shanice Cole, and see what you all had to think. Thank you, Nick and Catherine. This Sunday is the biggest day of the year because it's the American Music Awards airing on ABC. Among the many surprises this year, there is a list of chop-topping artists who will be performing for the show. The list includes Nicki Minaj, Pink, No Doubt, Usher, Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, Carrie Underwood, and Pitbull. So let's see what performers people are excited to see on Temple's campus. Hmm. I kind of felt with Pink because she's from Philly, but I actually have not heard a song in a little while. I'll show you the man. I mean, uh, is New Doubt they have like, No Doubt they have like new stuff in it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I remember I used to bang with them when I was younger, but I, I guess probably one of those two. Usher is a legend. He just never stops being amazing. He puts good music out all the time. and. He's just, you can't beat him. He's just amazing on stage. As you can see, many people are excited about the upcoming American Music Awards. I'm Shanice reporting live at Temple University for The Hollywood Bunch. Back to Nick and Catherine in the studio. Well, thanks Shanice. Well, Nick, I told you about what's happening in TV. Now what's happening in the movies? Well, movie fans everywhere are sure to be pleased this month after some of the highly anticipated releases, including an all new James Bond movie and the highly built up conclusion to the Twilight Saga. Ooh. November opened the month with a brand new work by Disney called Wreck-It Ralph, a movie starring video game characters. This movie, with the voice talents of John C. Riley, Jane Lynch, and Sarah Silverman, has since grossed $18.3 million. Denzel Washington returned to the big screen in the movie Flight, about an airplane pilot who crash lands a plane but undergoes some heavy torment. Having opened on November 2nd, Flight has grossed $8.6 million. On November 9th, two highly awaited films arrived to the screen. Lincoln, a biopic of Abraham Lincoln's final months in office, has Oscar buzz written all over it. With its star-studded cast, including Daniel Day-Lewis and Sally Fields, Lincoln has grossed $18.3 million so far. Bond fans everywhere rush to theaters to see the new 007 movie, Skyfall. This action-packed ride is the 23rd movie in the Bond franchise, the longest-running film franchise of all time. Having already grossed $41.5 million, Daniel Craig and Judi Dench are sure to be on that big screen for a while. Twihards everywhere couldn't wait to see the final installment in the Twilight series. Breaking Dawn Part 2 released on November 15th and has already grossed over $140 million. The action-packed finale features Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson in their signature roles one last time. The end of November is going to see some awesome films as well. Rise of the Guardians, an animated film about your favorite holiday characters, comes out November 21st. And for all you Hitchcock fans, be sure to grab a seat at the theater and check out Anthony Hopkins in the starring role of Alfred Hitchcock. The movie centers around the relationship with his wife during the filming of Hitchcock's famous Psycho. You won't want to miss that one. So that's what's happening, Catherine. Ooh, I'm excited for Hitchcock. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so now that we know what 
is coming out. Let's see what you all are excited to see. Shanice is out there again to find out. Thank you, Nick and Catherine. I'm Shanice reporting for The Hollywood Bunch at Temple University. This weekend, the new James Bond film, Skyfall, got number one at the box office, ranking in 87.8 million in its opening weekend. Skyfall is one of many new films coming out this month. Let's talk to Temple students to see what films they're excited to see in theaters. So what film are you excited to see? I'm definitely trying to see Skyfall, most likely a uh, flight, Denzel movie. Twilight. Why? Because it's the last one. I know. I'm so scared. I'm very excited to see Cloud Nine. I'm excited to see The Hobbit. Why? It looks really good. I like the other movies, so it should be pretty good. The Hobbit coming up and also Lincoln. Uh, I just saw Skyfall. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be, but it was all right. I heard good things. I don't know, I always like the James Bond movies. Uh, give me some motivation to uh, change the world. Were you excited about the other Twilights as well? Yes, very. very. Have you read the books? No, I didn't read the books because I didn't want to get the wrong interpretation because you know how sometimes when you read the book it's different from the movie so I just want to see the movie. Now have you seen the other James Bond films? Yeah uh, probably like half of them. Okay and out of all the James Bond films which one was the best? That's hard to say. Um, the new ones I saw Casino Royale was still the best. Out of the old ones I mean you know you can, you can take your pick with Sean Connery he's got a lot of them. And I mean, Denzel, you can't really go wrong. It's Denzel, so money well spent, most likely. So I don't think I ever seen a bad Denzel movie. Bella, she's my favorite. So there you have it. Temple University students are excited to see the new movies coming out this fall. I'm Shanice Cole, reporting for the Hollywood Bunch at Temple University. Back to Nick and Catherine in the studio. I saw Skyfall, and let me tell you, it was awesome. And Adele's song in the beginning was great. I have to agree, Adele's song is really good, but I'm kind of partial to live and let die. Well, all right, guys, it's that time again for our reporter, Shanice Cole, our own Cadizian Anaclassy. I'm Catherine Chung. And I'm Nick Lucier. It's time for us to wrap up this wrap-up. See you next time.